Summertime here in Florida means it's extra hot. Actually, it's really nice outside. So I'm gonna grab my laptop and we're gonna go and do what I call alternative workstation or alternative work location. That's where I do some work. I just like drive somewhere, park the car, and I work there on my laptop. It gets me out of the house. It's really nice outside and yeah, why not? Let's go. We got stuff to mail out. Gabrielle Garcia, Michael Corbis, Steve bon Bondum, Ricky Dill. So Gen Con, it's pretty much going on right now. We didn't end up going to it, uh, our kid did, but she's going as to help someone else with their booth. But we haven't gone. So if you're at Gen Con, let me know how it is. Let me know if you guys are having fun out there. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm missing out, but a part of me is like, it's so huge of a convention that you know is it really fun unless you like can find your booths that you're trying to go to or maybe you're just wanting to go there to play games and like and whatnot i don't know i've been to like pax unplugged um origins some other pretty big gaming conventions and i think those are really good sizes i don't know how gen con would be i don't know if it's like really big or like like i'm not obviously it's big is it obnoxiously too big i don't know Backyard workstation, let's go. This is the coolest thing ever. I wasn't sure when I bought it if I would like it, but man, this is awesome. It's like a lap desk for your laptop. Makes sense. Even it has this nifty little like elevator thing to raise it up some. I think it's freaking brilliant. I love it. Um, yeah, necessary. <laughs> Dang Apollo, why are you so comfortable? <laughs> I love zero gravity chairs. I love being, uh, you know, like laying on my back. Otherwise, because I'm just gonna be sitting forward and like kind of hunched over. I've developed the most efficient way to work comfortably, and that is pretty much laying just short of being on your back. In fact, that's why I have this thing right here, this little bumper, this is just tape, so my mouse doesn't slide off. <laughs> it's, yeah, brilliant. Alternative workstation number two. I absolutely love working in alternative work locations. It gets me out of the house. You know the drill. Okay, so where am I? I'm in, um, it's called Bel Air Beach. It's like basically Clearwater, which they're all connected. You got like um, Treasure Island down that way, Clearwater up the road. <laughs> so yeah, I'm working on the campaign, uh, the solo campaign. I actually just got an email from a guy who was really excited about the solo game mode for British versus Pirates. And I'm, I'm super excited too, as well. 
Uh, even better, it's pretty much done. So what I have is, I have one of our uh, fans, customers, friends, J.I. Atkins. He is going over the campaign and in the coming days, he's gonna let us know how it is and how it plays. I play tested it, it's solid, but I wanna hear it from someone else. Right now, I'm gonna be working on World War Tanks. That is a World War II tank game, which is super exciting because it has miniatures. British versus Pirates, and then I have World War Tanks, and then I have Sniper that I'm uh, working on. And actually, I'm waiting on Sniper Legend. The prototype from the manufacturer has been shipped. But once I get that, I'll do a playthrough and I'll show you guys on here how that thing plays. It is really like musical chairs with these games because you work on one, you wait on artwork from another, then you're working on another, and then you get, you, it really is just a cycle of games uh, that you're constantly working on as a designer, and I guess as a self-publisher because it really is many different entities that have their own world, their social media, their rule book, the game, the prototype, and the play testing, all of that really is like its separate own pocket. And whenever you get time and content to build on that project or that entity, um, it's great. But then whenever you send stuff out for, let's say, playtesting, let's say I do uh, some blind playtesting, um, people are going to play it and I'm not going to just sit at home and wait. I'm going to work on the next project. So that's what's up with the musical chairs. Sniper Legends, it's still alive and well. I cannot wait to get that thing. Can't wait to show you guys how that plays as well as World War Tanks. It's a fun, real lighthearted, a uh, bunch of like pinup kind of babes are the tank commanders. It's, you know, it, it's really loose, but the game's, the game's gonna be very similar to British versus Pirates in the sense that you're gonna have units and you're gonna do combat on a landscape. Other than that, I need to get back to work, knock some stuff out. So hopefully you guys enjoy your week. And if, again, if you're at Gen Con, hopefully you're having a great time. Uh, play lots of games and you know the drill keep rolling those dice and i'll see you on the high seas <laughs>